scored by number 13, Slava Kozlov, assisted by Steve Eisenman. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's all for the game, and the winners are the champions of the NHL. They have the cup, the ultimate goal of every team and player in the league, and do they deserve it. What a great series. I'm John Davidson for NHL Hockey and EA Sports. Thanks for joining us for the NHL season. Passes it. A shot. Oh, stopped by Osgood. Pivanka to Juno. Time runs out. This one is over. The Washington Capitals are downed by the Detroit Red Wings. McKee checked into the glass by Hull. Overtime goal by Hull. Here's how that one unfolded. It starts with a pass into the offensive zone. Hull takes the shot, and it found a home in the back of the net. Dallas goal, scored by number 16, Brett Hull, assisted by number 23, Greg Adams. Holy passes ahead. Arnett to center. He scores the overtime winner, and this game is in the books. Hey, listen, he played it right. He flat out just got beat. Let's look at the replay. A player who can shoot this hard is dangerous every time he's in your zone. Doesn't matter where he is. themselves are on a different planet right now they've heard the stories of how it feels and what it's like to win the cup but I would assume that what they're feeling right now is indescribable and as the celebrations continue we'll see the coaches and players congratulate each other and then themselves it was a complete team effort from top to bottom from owner to management to players for one team a summer of pain and disappointment all those missed chances will run through their minds for the weeks to come for the others, they're at the pinnacle of their careers. They are this year's Stanley Cup champions. <laughs> Federal didn't have the game we wanted tonight. Yep, he wasn't as noticeable as we wanted him to be. Don Taylor expected too much from him tonight. Aren't you Don Taylor? No, I'm Don Taylor. He's Don Taylor. Chase. Oats. Time's run out. It's over. The Devils are the 2003 Stanley Cup champions. as the Stanley Cup champions.
in the third. That's pretty much sealed the deal. They've really shown what they're capable of tonight. Time has run out. The long, arduous journey is over. Carolina has won the 2006 Stanley Cup. Standing a guy up in the neutral zone, he nailed him to shape. The Anaheim Ducks have won the Stanley Cup, and the fruition has finally come home to roost.
plays when the puck is on his tape, and when he doesn't have the puck, he is just a hound. He goes and gets it back. The Detroit Red Wings, their year. One more time, your Stanley Cup champions. What an unbelievable feeling. I have been there twice. It is so hard to put the feelings into words. You're almost in disbelief. You can't believe that you've won. And at the other end, you realize the journey has ended in a loss. And that's going to do it. The Pittsburgh Penguins have won the Stanley Cup. What an unbelievable feeling. I have been there twice. It is so hard to put the feelings into words. You're almost in disbelief. You can't believe that you've won. And at the other end, you realize the journey has ended in a loss. Offensive opportunity, three on one. And that's going to do it. They have won the Stanley Cup. Let the celebration begin. What an unbelievable feeling. I've been there twice. It is so hard to put the feelings into words. You talk about both ends of the emotional spectrum. For one, the ultimate complete success, Bill. And for the other, so close and yet nowhere near. Gary, one set of emotions is, is so full of positives and the other is so empty. I mean, they are at opposite ends of the emotional spectrum. This is the Conn Smythe Award. Let's see who our winner is. Gary, when you win this one, you have truly won something that signifies you are a pressure player. Congratulations on this Conn Smythe win. And now, the presentation will be made to the captain, 
And finally, for players in the National Hockey League, the one time where they can touch the cup. These are the pictures you want on the walls for the grandkids to see in days to come. You won the Stanley Cup, and there I was on the ice, and I had it over my head. Pretty well what every kid has grown up dreaming of. This moment, to have it in your hands, hoisting it over your head. One team, one photo, once a year. And this is the shot that will last a lifetime for all of these players. Stanley Cup winners and the traditional team photo. There they are. Their names go on the cup. Efforts in the face-off dot just have not. The Boston Bruins have won the Stanley Cup. The celebration in Beantown begins. Unbelievable. The most empty feeling at one end of the ice and at the other end. I've been there twice. It is so hard to put into words the feelings that you have when you've won the Stanley Cup. I mean, it's almost disbelief. You can't believe it has finally happened. The most famous line in all of sports, two teams shaking hands. you got to love that. You congratulate the winners, but the winners also say to the losers, we have a lot of respect. This is the Conn Smythe Award. Let's see who our winner is. Gary, when you win this one, you have truly won something that signifies you are a pressure player. Congratulations on this Conn Smythe win. And now, the presentation will be made to the captain. And finally, for players in the National Hockey League, the one time where they can touch the cup. And you would think after the grueling journey that there might not be any energy left. This baby weighs over 30 pounds. But when you hoist it over your head after you've won it, it feels like a feather. One team, one photo, once a year. And this is the shot that will last a lifetime for all of these players. Stanley Cup winners and the traditional team photo. There they are. Their names go on the cup. that you have when you've won the Stanley Cup. I mean, it's almost disbelief. You can't believe it has finally happened. And after all the effort both these teams put in, they now go through the line. Gary, that tells you about the respect that these guys have for one another. I mean, they earned the respect. This is the Conn Smythe Award. Let's see who our winner is. Gary, when you win this one, you have truly won something that signifies you are a pressure player. Congratulations on this Conn Smythe win. Stanley's hardware is out to be awarded. The presentation will be made to the captain. And finally, for players in the National Hockey League, the one time where they can touch the cup.
And you would think after the grueling journey that there might not be any energy left. This baby weighs over 30 pounds, but when you hoist it over your head after you've won it, it feels like a feather. Lord Stanley's Cup, yet one more time, supreme in this picture. And happiness is being able to pose for this picture right now. And down at center ice, they line up for the team photo. There are your new Stanley Cup champions. He'll carry it now. And the Stanley Cup is theirs. What an unbelievable feeling. I've been there twice. It is so hard to put the feelings into words. You talk about both ends of the emotional spectrum. For one, the ultimate complete success, Bill. And for the other, so close and yet nowhere near. Gary, one set of emotions is, is so full of positives and the other is so empty. I mean, they are at opposite ends of the emotional spectrum. This is the Conn Smythe Award. Let's see who our winner is. Gary, when you win this one, you have truly won something that signifies you are a pressure player. Congratulations on this Conn Smythe win. And now, Lord Stanley's Hardware is out to be awarded. The presentation will be made to the captain. And finally, for players in the National Hockey League, the one time where they can touch the cup. It is such a grueling journey. And when you finally get a chance to hoist the Stanley Cup, you might think players would be out of gas. The trophy actually weighs over 30 pounds, but when you get it in your hands, Feels like it weighs about as much as a feather. Lord Stanley's Cup, yet one more time supreme in this picture. And happiness is being able to pose for this picture right now. Shot. Scores, and that's going to end this one in overtime. That's it. The Los Angeles Kings have won the Stanley Cup. Unbelievable. The most empty feeling at one end of the ice and at the other end. I've been there twice. It is so hard to put into words the feelings that you have when you've won the Stanley Cup. I mean, it's almost disbelief. You can't believe it has finally happened. And one of the great traditions, the teams exchange handshake. And it's a terrific mutual respect they have for one another. But for the winners, the bruises, the broken bones, the stitches, all worth it. This is the Conn Smythe Award. Let's see who our winner is. Gary, when you win this one, you have truly won something that signifies you are a pressure player. Congratulations on this Conn Smythe win. And now, Lord Stanley's Hardware is out to be awarded. The presentation will be made to the captain. And finally, for players in the National Hockey League, the one time where they can touch the cup. It is such a grueling journey. And when you finally get a chance to hoist the Stanley Cup, you might think players would be out of gas. The trophy actually weighs over 30 pounds, but when you get it in your hands, Feels like it weighs about as much as a feather.
A photo that will be seen on the front pages of newspapers tomorrow everywhere. Gary, millions of people have posed with the cup, but there's only one picture these guys will remember. Solid win at center ice. And the game is over. The series is over. These are the Stanley Cup champions. These guys started back in the fall. Their dream was to be at this very moment. And the dream is realized. It always amazes me at this time of year how they can change from disdain to calm congratulations. Tradition. The man chosen playoff MVP gets the Conn Smythe Trophy. Boy, is this ever well deserved. It's often said it's the hardest prize to win because it takes eight weeks. And by tradition, the captain is the first to hold it high. And there's always a pecking order as to how it gets handed off, and that's all a part of Stanley Cup lore. You can only imagine how much soreness you fight through in a collision sport. Guys have lifted this cup with dislocated shoulders after hernia surgeries just two days before. Doesn't matter. It's over 30 pounds. They find a way. You play that hard and that long. You get your names on a trophy, rings on your fingers, and one last photograph evidence of it all. Slid to Crosby. Forcing attention in deep. Got in the way of that one. San Jose's continuing on in their own end. Propelled to Marlowe. And the game is over. The series is over. Pittsburgh's won the Stanley Cup. Do you believe the celebration going on? It always amazes me at this time of year how they can change from disdain to calm congratulations. Tradition. The man chosen playoff MVP gets the Conn Smythe Trophy. Boy, is this ever well deserved. It's often said it's the hardest prize to win because it takes eight weeks. And by tradition, the captain is the first to hold it high. And there's always a pecking order as to how it gets handed off, and that's all a part of Stanley Cup lore. You can only imagine how much soreness you fight through in a collision sport. Guys have lifted this cup with dislocated shoulders after hernia surgeries just two days before. Doesn't matter. It's over 30 pounds. They find a way. You play that hard and that long. You get your names on a trophy, rings on your fingers, and one last photograph evidence of it all. And the game is over. The series is over. These are the Stanley Cup champions. These guys started back in the fall. Their dream was to be at this very moment. And the dream is realized.
A traditional congratulations of a handshake goes back five centuries in humanity. But for hockey, it's become one of the most prized moments. Congratulating those who have gone so far. The playoff MVP gets the Conn Smythe Trophy. And here is the winner. It's often said it's the hardest prize to win because it takes eight weeks. And by tradition, the captain is the first to hold it high. And there's always a pecking order as to how it gets handed off, and that's all a part of Stanley Cup lore. You can only imagine how much soreness you fight through in a collision sport. Guys have lifted this cup with dislocated shoulders after hernia surgeries just two days before. Doesn't matter. It's over 30 pounds. They find a way. You play that hard and that long. You get your names on a trophy, rings on your fingers, and one last photograph evidence of it all. Lies for so many of these athletes and all their fans, your name goes on it, the Stanley Cup. As you can imagine, an incredibly emotional scene here down on the ice where the players leap over the boards, the coaches are hugging each other, the Stanley Cup is theirs, and no one can ever take that away. There's much to be said for being a humble winner and a gracious loser. This series is so bitter, it is so hard to play, yet your celebration gets put on the back burner as you shake hands and congratulate the team that you've just beaten on a hard-fought series. The playoff MVP gets the Conn Smythe Trophy, and here is the winner. I'm always interested in the way the player reacts to getting this trophy. It's almost like they want to get out of there so they can celebrate the Stanley Cup. You've been selected as the best player in the playoffs, but really all you can think about is that your team is champions. It's often said it's the hardest prize to win because it takes eight weeks. And by tradition, the captain is the first to hold it high. He's often acknowledged to be one of the best captains in all of sport. To be the leader of a championship team is one thing. To be held on a different level as he is, is quite another. There's so much going on on the ice right now. I wonder if the players are able to soak it all in or if it goes by so fast that the time that they really understand is when they look on it on video later on. This is outstanding to see how happy these players are. You play that hard and that long. 
You get your names on a trophy, rings on your fingers, and one last photograph, evidence of it all. Fans, your name goes on it, the Stanley Cup. The game is over, the championship is won. They've done it, they've done it. There's so much that goes into even the possibility of winning a championship. Now they have found the way to the end of the road, and the Stanley Cup is theirs. The teams are exhausted as they line up for one of the oldest traditions in our sport, the handshake at the end of the series. You don't always like the player that you're shaking hands with, but you have respect for the series that you've just played. The man chosen playoff MVP gets the Conn Smythe Trophy. Boy, is this ever well deserved. I'm always interested in the way the player reacts to getting this trophy. It's almost like they want to get out of there so they can celebrate the Stanley Cup. You've been selected as the best player in the playoffs, but really all you can think about is that your team is champions. It's often said it's the hardest prize to win because it takes eight weeks. And by tradition, the captain is the first to hold it high. I remember as a kid watching Johnny Busick, the captain of the Boston Bruins, hold the Stanley Cup above his head. I thought it would be the coolest thing to do. Look how proud and happy the captain is here tonight. I can't even imagine how excited the players are waiting for their turn to take the Stanley Cup for a spin around the ice. There is a pecking order to this, mostly on seniority, but it's never really discussed. It just kind of happens. And the final event of any Stanley Cup celebration. What we see on the ice last is everyone gathered together for a very happy Stanley Cup team picture. <laughs>